What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the finale of Last Shot Documentary. Today we have the first day of tryouts. You know, I'm, I've been staying prepared. We got water in this cup right here. I've been, this, we're on the fourth glass of water today. So you know the vibe. But we're just going to keep working, you know. Now, today is where I ball out. We're going to ball out for five days straight. You know, we're not going to get cut for the third time in a row. So enjoy the finale. If you haven't watched all the episodes, go watch them. Because that will get you to this point. You know, I like the show. You don't want to miss the first. You don't want to miss the. You don't watch the finale for the for the good parts. You know. So you know. Thank guys. Catch you later. YouTube, about to get to tryouts right now. I'm waiting for my grandma to come pick me up. Got the baseball pants on. Get everything ready. I'm ready to go. But you know, I got my baseball bat. Got everything. Got. I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm prepared. I've prepared for this for the last four months. Um, first day, you know, the nerves are there because I don't know what to expect. You know, I don't know if anything's going to change from last year. You know, I don't know the, the game plan for this trial. They didn't really push things trial schedule, but, you know, I'm ready to go work. I'm ready to go show what I got. You know, I feel like I got what it takes, so let's see if I can, uh, I feel confident in that. So, you know, I'm going to show what it takes today. So I'm ready. Catch y'all later. Walking to day two of tryouts. Um, it's about to be in 15 minutes. I had to stay after with the teacher, but I'm locked in right now, so that's good. Um, I had to stay after the teacher, but yesterday, didn't really talk yesterday because I, I, after tryouts, you know, you're tired. It was the eight, you know, got home at like 8.30. So I was tired. I wanted to go to bed, get my rest in, but for today, so. Here's how tried tryouts yesterday, he's not. But I'll recap here. I think I did pretty good. I think I, I, and I, and I didn't strike out at all, which is good. You know, you never want high high K rates, and you don't want to strike out. So I'm just happy I didn't strike out. Put them on plate every time in my five at bats. Um, I think I went around two for five, so I think I got at least a couple hits. So we're good. So you know, I'm gonna keep the momentum of today. We got we're facing some stronger pitchers today because we got our D2 pitcher. Gary, he my boy. Hopefully I'm facing him. Cause I did a little bit of scouting, you know. You know, from from facing him last year. I think I faced him last year at least. Or and then we got our other pitchers that you know played varsity last year. So you know I've also faced them. So I'm ready to go. I'm ready to work. Um, can't wait. I'm excited. So I'll keep you all. Uh, I'll keep you. Posted. Yep. I'm gonna keep you posted. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the vlog so far. Hopefully, the finale ends in my favor. But if it doesn't, hopefully, you guys get better entertainment. We'll see what happens. So, good job. What's up, YouTube? Just finished tryouts. Um, I went two for three with a walk, so not, not a bad day. So, you know, we're just gonna keep grinding, keep working, um, dig in the field. So, you know, good things so far feeling confident so I'll catch y'all you know I don't really got a lot to say I mean we had Ethan McGarry on the bump you know D2 put a ball and play against him then we had our only lefty hit against him put a ball you know could have could good barrel on it and then um went against uh another kid throwing 85 Anthony Valenti um he got me we had an E pitch AB he got me with a K and then our D1 commit red Maroon, he walked me. So, you know, we're feeling good. Um, I'm confident. Let's get it. Catch you later. What's up, YouTube? Just finished tryouts. Um, I went two for three with a walk. So, not, not a bad day. So, you know, we're just going to keep grinding, keep working. Um, dig in the field. So, you know, good things so far. Feeling confident. So, I'll catch you. You know, I don't really got a lot to say. I mean, we had Ethan McGarry on the bump, you know, D2, put a ball and play against him. Then we had our only lefty hit against him, put a ball, you know, could have could good barrel on it. And then um, went against uh, another kid throwing 85, Anthony Valenti. Um, he got me, we had an E pitch AB, he got me with a K. And then our D1 commit, Red Maroon, he walked me. So, you know, we're feeling good. Um, I'm confident. Let's get it. Catch you later. What's up, YouTube? Um, 
So, Wednesday. Awful tryout. Absolute awful tryout. Um, really struggled. Not really proud of myself right now. Um, you know, I worked really hard to, you know, get stronger, faster, and uh, we did metrics, and I still lost to some of the guy varsity guys in most metrics, and you know, it's tough. You know, I, I I may have ran faster, but it still wasn't fast enough, and you know, that's tough. You know, especially because I put in the work. I feel like, and then to really not throw the ball mo mo any harder, or not, you know run like I ran so like I ran like a full second faster and that still wasn't enough so you know that's that's tough and uh you know you know after two good days and lose all the momentum it was tough you know had my emotions working against me a little bit because you know it's tough you know seeing your window of opportunity close you know it's like I saw like other guys you know get hype coach hyping them up a little bit you know, the head shakes, you know, oh, he's running, he's running good this year, and then I run, and none of that, none of that excitement, or none of that, you know, none of that, like, because it wasn't fast enough, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, hopefully this wasn't a make or break day, you know, I still got tomorrow and Friday, so hopefully it's a, hopefully it, I guess, is there, but. You know, over the first two days, at least, give me a chance. You know, I have to go crazy tomorrow. You know, the pressure's on tomorrow. I honestly believe that I got pressure on tomorrow. I got to do everything right. I don't know what I, like, I got to do 200 things right tomorrow to even make the team. That's all I'm saying. I got to do 200 things right. I got to hit every pitch. I got to make every ground ball. I got to be a leader tomorrow. I got to. I sprint better than everybody. I gotta clean up better than everybody. Um, I gotta get there earlier than everybody. Like, like this, like this practice was not good. Metrically, you know, conditioning I did okay. And hopefully, hopefully did good enough. But uh, it wasn't good. It wasn't good today, guys. And uh, you know. Uh, I'm gonna watch words because you know if, if we're gonna I like I don't really know I just played absolutely bad I just played bad lost I feel like I lost all my momentum you know I was hitting good first two days I was hitting good I think a lot of people can tell you that you know I was getting praise for the first two days you know. One of my teammates, we talked about stuff, and he said, I've improved from last year, you know. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good going into today, and then it all comes crashing down. So, um, yeah, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow, I guess. Like, I don't know. Like, you know I'm stressing if I did enough, you know. I don't know if I did enough. And, uh. Um, what else do I have to say? Um, well, you know, I don't have another year, so got to leave it all on the line tomorrow. Tomorrow is a make make or, make or break day. Um, you know, I got I got to go I got to go crazy tomorrow. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I got nothing. It was just it was just playing off awful. You know, my emotions started to show, you know, wasn't trying to show emotions, you know, some emotions came out. Like, not verbally, but like, like, like mentally, facial emotions, you know, so hopefully, hopefully I kept them calm as I could be. Um, so yeah, um, we got tomorrow, we got tomorrow on Friday. Last two days, you know, it's it's a wild card MLB mentality right now, you know, it's the wild card, we gotta win, we gotta win, we gotta win the day, and then we gotta move on to the next day, and you gotta win that day, and you just gotta keep winning days, and you gotta stack the weekend, and then you gotta stack, stack the first week of the season, stack the second week, stack the third, stack the fourth, stack the fifth, but right now, I just gotta make the team, I just gotta make the team, that's the first step, that's the first step, um, you know, and, uh, 
you know, in this uh, tryout. Don't need a lot for college and stuff. So hopefully, like, when I get the team, like, do I even risk it trying to play somewhere? Or do I hang it up? You know, it's like one of those things. Like, there's a lot of pressure there. And, um, you know, I'm trying to let you guys down. You know, all the supporters down. So, you know, not trying to let my younger brother down, you know. Care about him. I want him to see a winner. I want my brother to see a winner. I want my brother to see a winner. You know, if I don't show my brother a winner, then I don't know what else, bro. Like, I don't know what else, guys, bro. If I don't show my brother a winning baseball player, how is he going to know how to be a winning baseball player? You know, my brother has big dreams. My brother has big goals. Um, So, I don't really know. I'm just I'm just ranting to you guys because today's trial was, was just bad. Um, But I didn't play good. It's just frank as that. It's just simple as that. Didn't play good. Three words. Three, three words. Didn't play good. And um, so I have to play excellent tomorrow. So that's that's the mindset going to tomorrow. Play excellent tomorrow. So, thank you guys. Um, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. You know, um, you know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show it. I'm going to show it tomorrow. I'm going to show my brother a winner. I'm going to show coaches a winner. You know, I'm going to show my teammates that I'm a winner. You know, I'm trying to be a winner this year. And, um. You know, hopefully, hopefully tomorrow, tomorrow shows it. Hopefully I get my prove it moment tomorrow, you know. So I got two, two more trial days. We'll see what happens. Um, so I don't know, but catch y'all. See you tomorrow. What's up, YouTube? You know, I'm getting ready. My grandma's going to come pick me up in a couple minutes. We start at four tonight. It's around 3.30, so. I'll get there 20 minutes early. I'm locked in. You know, get my mind right. I'm chewing gum right, chewing, I'm chewing gum right now. You know, bite a bite a blue. You know, he said he chewed gum to calm himself down. So that's what I'm doing. I'm a little nervous right now because I got to play excellent today, you know. So, um, you know, pressure's on. I'm going to go make a play today. So, you know, I'll, I'll catch you later. I'm going to go make a play. All right, YouTube. It's cut day. We'll see if we make the team today. About seven hours. It's Friday. You guys are going to see this video tomorrow, you know, as I promised. But, basically, you know, I think I did good yesterday. I think I did good enough hitting to get myself on the team. You know, I only struck out one time in about 13, 14 at-bats, which is which is pretty good. I'm making contact. I'm hitting the ball, having good ABs, productive at-bats. So, you know, hopefully good enough, you know. The one at-bat I struck out on was a, a nine-pitch AB, eight-pitch AB, like, you know, I walked twice, so my, my walk to strikeout ratio was two to one. You know, I'm hitting everything. I'm staying in the zone. You know, I'm not chasing. And then feeling I'm playing good defense, you know. And um, other than metrically, like metrically, like if you look at my metrics, you're going to think, oh, this kid isn't good. You know, he doesn't run fast. But I think I think there was no adrenaline running. First of all, adrenaline plays into that stuff. So we'll see what happens today, though. You know, I'm a little nervous about it, but... You know, I, th I think I'm going to make the team. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not sure what the coaching staff thinks. You know, it's a different, it's a different decision. You know what I mean? So, we'll see. Um, so, hopefully you guys are liking, you know, hopefully if this ends in a cut, like hopefully y'all enjoy it or at least you're motivated, you know. But, um, you know, at least we have it today. You know, I think I, I think I did good enough to make the team. We'll see what happens though. You know, I, I, I did what I can control. That's all I know. I did what I can control. And now let's see if the things that I can't control play out in my favor. So, catch you guys later. What's up, YouTube? I just got cut again, guys. Um, you know, so I'm, um, thank you guys for watching this. Thank, hopefully, I motivated you guys. Um, I don't know what to say right now. You know, coach just told me I worked hard. And uh, <laughs> and uh, showed improvement and enthusiasm to baseball. And um, yeah, I don't even know what to say right now. I just got buddy in, yes. Let me, let me keep my composure. Let me keep my composure. Deep breath, you know? Alright, well, you know, there's some positive speak. You know, I felt like I played well, you know? And, uh, it's not, <laughs> I don't really know, but, 
I don't know what to do for the future, bro. Like, what do I do, bro? Like, I have no clue. I got no clue what to do, bro. So, you know, I'm going to reach out to my mentor, bro, Danny Barbero. He's a great hitting coach in our area. And uh, reach out to some of the guys that made the team to help me out and stuff. So, um, <laughs> thank you guys for watching this. Thank you guys. I'll find the video you guys to be better. And, you know, I feel like just pause this week. You know, um, my you saw Ethan McGarry in the basketball vlog, you know. I got to base it off him. Um, I hit well this week, you know. I struck out only three times this week. Three. I struck out only three times this week. I hit well. <laughs> I, played, I played good defense. But it was all because of my speed, bro. It's all because of my speed. And I ran track to get my speed faster, and I did get faster. And and it was all because of my speed and throwing velocity, because I don't necessarily throw hard. But, um, so, thank you guys, you know. Um, I'll see you guys. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I know, but I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow when I'm more composed and uh, catch you. What's up, YouTube? It's uh, Saturday morning. Um, you know, last night you kind of saw I didn't make the team. I was pretty upset about it. Um... But I just want to say thank you to all of you guys that have supported me and have, uh, you know, watched all these videos or, or text me good, like, good work or given me tips over these weeks, um, you know, and hopefully I showed you the real side of the game of baseball where it's a hard game they have to train every day for, and even if you do that, you it's not guaranteed, because nothing's guaranteed right now, and so if you're a young kid, if you're a sophomore, freshman, eighth grader, whatever grade you're in, and you're playing baseball, don't give up if they cut you. Because you can get so much stronger and at least feel positive benefits from training. So, you know, like there, there are positives from this, and this is just a learning experience, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to find a way to go play. I, mean, I want to play in college. Like that's my goal, of course. You know, hopefully play professionally. Like, I would love to do that, but, you know, so I'm going to keep training for that goal. And, um, whatever happens, happens. Like, you know, me and Coach Cincy, I, I guess I'll say that. I thought I, I thought I was on the team, you know, I thought I, I thought I played well, you know. I think a lot of people can say that I played, I played well. I think people can say I played n near the varsity level. You know, Coach, Coach said there was, too much talent. I wasn't part of the talent group, I guess, but, you know, it's okay. You know, learning experience, you know, hopefully they do good because they're still my school, you know what I mean? They're still my school. Some of those kids are still my friends, so hopefully, I don't know, I hope they pop out. I hope they go win the state championship, you know? But if they go lose, like, first round, like, that would be very, like, you know, that would be, you know, bummer, but, you know, um... Um, I'm gonna keep the crying part in the vlog, or you guys already seen the crying part. The only reason I'm keeping that in is so, you know, you kids, like, you see that and see how much mental toll this, 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 uh, did with the game, you know? Like, the mental side of this game is crazy, but, you know, if you can't control it, you know, I was keeping it all in, all in, and I just let it out last night, so, you know. It's, uh, it's, I'm gonna say it's whatever, because it's something, something I cared for, something I cared about, you know, to show up to every workout, to work out after school, to train on my own with my friends, to, um, you know, to learning, to be studying the game, to do it, all the steps they needed to do, and then not succeed the end goal, you know, that's tough, but. You know, summer season's coming around, so I'll go pop out there and see what happens. But, um, you know, I feel like there's positives from the whole experience. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else to say, guys. But, um, thank you for watching. All the support has been great. Um, you know, I'll see you guys in the future. I'm going to train my friend today. Me and my boy are going to go train on his, on a, 
at the park. They have a they have a, like a little field at the park. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go to his uh, park and go train. Um, so we're just gonna keep training. I'm gonna go run. I'm gonna get faster. I'm gonna do everything right. You know, I got I got what I can't play in high school, but I at least got six months to like an October walk on tryout somewhere probably. So we can try that. We can try walking on. We can try playing post grad. We can try. You know, there's many different things we can try. I mean, I'm going I'm to try all my options, you feel me? So, you know, hopefully you guys learned a lesson from this. I hope you, everybody learned the lesson. Everybody who watched this, to not give up. So, to keep trying. You know? And right now, I'm a little down, but, like, don't, like, you know? Like, it's, like, it's how the game works, you know? It's how the game works, how professional sports work, too, bro. You can get cut. You can get cut in the NFL. You can be the fifty-first man off the or the fifty-fourth man on the fifty-three man roster, dude. Like, how much would that suck? Like, you make, you worked your whole life to get to the NFL, and then you get cut as the fifty-fourth man. Like, that would be that would be really tough, you know. So it's, you know, it's and especially it's tough in high school too. You know, I'm, I was probably one of the five people that got cut, so that's that's hard, you know. Especially because I was probably played around in the middle of where everybody was but it's okay guys i'll get it i'll get it next time um you know thank you guys for all the support last night for my uh, guys my teammates everybody that supported me last night so i'm gonna end here thank you guys signing off hopefully you guys liked the documentary last shot documentary out